we have the opportunity to make a habit of empathy. What Judge Paez said has been the standard for 220 years. It correctly describes the fundamental and proper role for a judge. Unfortunately, a very important person has decided it's time for a change, time for a new kind of judge, one who will apply a different standard of judging, including employment of his or her empathy for one of the parties to the dispute. That person is President Obama. And the question before us is whether his first nominee to the Supreme Court follows his new model of judging or the traditional model articulated by Judge Paez. President Obama, in opposing the nomination of Chief Justice Roberts, said that, and I quote, while adherence to legal precedent and rules of statutory or constitutional construction will dispose of 95% of the cases that come before a court, what matters on the Supreme Court is those 5% of the cases that are truly difficult. In those 5% of hard cases, the constitutional text will not be directly on point. The language of the statute will not be perfectly clear. Legal process alone will not lead you to a rule of decision. How does President Obama propose judges deal with these hard cases? Does he want them to use judicial precedent, canons of construction, and other accepted tools of interpretation that judges have used for centuries? No. President Obama says, and I quote, that in those difficult cases, the critical ingredient is supplied by what is in the judge's heart. Of course, every person should have empathy. And in certain situations, such as sentencing, it may not be wrong for judges to be empathetic. The problem arises when empathy and other biases or prejudices that are in the judge's heart become the critical ingredient to deciding cases. As Judge Paez explained, a judge's prejudices, biases, and passions should not be embraced. They must be set aside so that a judge can render an impartial decision as required by the judicial oath and as the parties before the court expect. I respectfully submit that President Obama is simply outside the mainstream in his statements about how judges should decide cases. I practiced law for almost 20 years before every level of state and federal court, including the U.S. Supreme Court, and never once did I hear a lawyer argue that he had no legal basis to sustain his client's position, so that he had to ask the judge to go with his gut or his heart. If judges routinely started ruling on the basis of their personal feelings, however well-intentioned, the entire legitimacy of the judicial system would be jeopardized. 